So in this video, I am going to explain how I, uh, my spiritual interests and how I ended up discovering that I was a light worker and just basically um, how a bunch of different jobs, um, you know, didn't work out for me. Um, the first job that I'm going to tell you about is, uh, I'm going to say the summer of tw 2008, um, basically before I went to college, I was, you know, working for about three years, just a string of dead end jobs over and over and over again. And it would seem like most of them I would just get fired from, uh, like back in, uh, 2008, the summer of 2008, I worked for a telemarketing place for a few months and then they ended up firing me because I didn't sell enough magazines. And then I worked, um, at basically at this clothing store and I was working there for about a month and the boss was a real crotch stain. She was like really, you know, rude. And I, she's like, okay. So I was like working there, you know, like full time for like a month. And, um, I don't know, she's just like really weird and everything. And in fact, the day before I got fired, I like covered somebody else's shift and she said, oh, you did a great job. And she gave me a high five and everything like that. Next day I'm at work and she's like, oh, I want you to go around and dust everything. I'm like, uh, okay, sure. And I, you know, went around and like cleaned the store and then like ba basically at the, uh, and, um, I went over back to her and, um, and then she said I didn't dust right. And she just like made me leave. And I'm like, why? I'm like, what? That's really weird. And then, um, I basically about a month after that, I got a job where I was working at a bakery for about a year. So this was October of 2008. And I got hired at a bakery and I was working there for about a year and I just absolutely could not stand the job. Um, and it was very, very fast paced and it was very hard work and I didn't like it at all. And I was really, really irritated and kind of angry and it was just like they were like, I don't know, it was just way too fast paced of work. And I worked there for a year and that's when I decided I absolutely don't want to work in food service anymore. I don't want to work at restaurants anymore. And then um, I quit exactly one year later. So I quit in October of 2009 when I started, when I enrolled in uh, college in the fall. Um, and then I got my degree in uh, business administration. Um and, um, you know, I, um, you know, I got my degree because I think that it's important for me to do something that's like, uh, really useful for people. And basically when I was in college, I was working a couple of jobs at the mall and then, um, they just fired me and just said that I didn't, um, learn everything fast enough and blah, blah, blah. And then, uh, one time. And then after that, like when I was still in college, like a year later, I got fired from a restaurant and I came in and it was a brand new, you know, restaurant and they just opened and there were like, um, you know, two people are just two people working in there. And, um, I worked there. And then on the third day I came in like seven in the clock in the morning and I went over there and he gave a really, weird excuse. The owner, um, his name was Bob. I, you know, I, I came in and everything. Then he like, you know, calls me over and he's like, oh, Jessica, we just need a really, really strong cashier and you can't work here anymore. So that was just like very bizarre. They didn't even really tell me why they had fired me. And, um, Anyway, it was just very frustrating and I just felt, you know, really insecure with myself and I felt like I just couldn't do anything right. Um, and then um, I was in college and then, like I said in my last video, um, you know, where I gave an introduction because I have a video about how I got into tarot and astrology, um, the psychic was right because I went to my first tarot reading when I was in uh, college in 2011 and this is like, you know, around the time that I had been through a bunch of, you know, dead end jobs and everything. 
and like I said, the the card in the past that came up was the Nine of Wands, and that irritates, you know, frustration, uh, not getting along, anger, arguing, and really, really irritated, and those words that are, are coming out of my mouth now, that's how I felt when I was working at the bakery, and I absolutely knew I was not cut out for restaurant work at all, and um, so anyway, the psychic just said, well, yeah, you know, something that you've been doing in the past couple years has just been really, really, really irritating to you, and to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly how, and I'm not talking about just from her, but, um, I, I don't remember exactly how, but I somehow came along, uh, you know, exactly finding out, but I, I called, you know, psychics and when I would get, you know, psychic readings and stuff like that, somebody eventually told me and I ended up finding how, even though I don't know all the details, I don't remember exactly the details, but I kind of got the idea, um, around 2012, like that I, um, I'm here to help people. And I had a psychic tell me over the phone one time that I'm here to help people and that now that I'm doing more humanitarian work, um, I am doing, you know, the purpose that I am supposed to be doing. Um, and then actually pretty recently, um, earlier this year, early in 2017, I was, you know, kind of browsing around in my spiritual interests and blah, 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 blah. And I came across the word light worker and it really described me because it was just like saying about how people who have grown up in really, really bad, you know, um, really broad upbringing and um, been abused either in relationships before. Um, I've never been physically abused by a relationship, but, you know, either in childhood um, there's a lot of emotional and physical trauma. I was separated from my dad when I was in kindergarten. Um, and, you know, like I said earlier in this video, just a bunch of up and down jobs and no income and, you know, trying, yeah, I don't know, you know, and just getting really frustrated. And so I kind of looked up the term light worker and I really got into it. And I'm like, wow, this, this must be me. This must be part of my spiritual journey. Um, it means that my soul, before I came to this earthly plane, I volunteered to, um, you know, helping, you know, help people. And it just always seems maybe about once a week, I will help somebody with something really important. I'll, I'll give somebody directions. Or one time I helped the blind lady across the road, or I'll help people doing, you know, certain things. Um, and, um, basically, you know, I was kind of getting into, you know, looking into light worker and it really sounded like me and what I've been going through. Um, I had like a different, you know, uh, upbringing, uh, very abusive upbringing. I don't want to say different, but ab abusive would be the word abusive. My mom was very physically and emotionally abusive toward me. Um, she would lose her temper a lot. She wasn't thinking she's still to this day for the last like 40 years. She's been popping prescription medication. Um, I had a lot of health problems growing up as a result and everything. Um, and, um, also they were saying something about like light, light workers where in, you know, high school they were picked on and everything like that. That was definitely me. I was not not part of the popular crowd at all. And they were talking about how, you know, I just looked up on YouTube and looked up in my own personal research about how a light worker is supposed to go through some really, really heavy trauma. And it means that we are here to help humanity. And I was fired from a whole bunch of jobs and everything like that. And I haven't been recently. I haven't been fired in at least five years. But this is like early. Like when I was in college, I was fired from a couple mall jobs. And then before that, like three years before that, I was like pretty much fired from almost every job that I was working. And like I said, some sometimes they would not even give just a weird explanation or not hide or hair of anything or just say something like, oh, you weren't cut out for the job or something like that. Um, and anyway, I kind of like, I just thought it was really interesting because I've never really, you know, until recently in the last six months, just heard the concept of light worker. And I think that when I was working at a bakery or working telemarketing, I was not on the path to helping humanity. Um, and you know, everything on the YouTube videos and everything that I've been looking up and reading in books and everything. I mean, that sounds pretty much like the description, um, 
you know, that a light worker would go through a lot of heavy trauma, um, but we're really here for the greater good of the earth. So I stopped working at, you know, dead end jobs. And it's, you know, always been, you know, something where I've been, you know, working at, you know, a nonprofit organization or doing, you know, something like that and um, volunteering at a community center. And I haven't had any incidents. I haven't had any problems at all with being fired. Um, so, um, I, I thought it was actually really interesting and that's why I said, you know, I'm really glad that I got into tarot and astrology because if I hadn't had, you know, people sit down and explain to me word for word to this day, I might still have problems, you know, going to, you know, jo dead end jobs and just getting fired because I didn't really realize that there was a term as light worker. Um, somebody that's supposed to have a really important job and I am here like before I came to earth I signed up I volunteered on my own to help people and um, I didn't really realize that it, it was a concept and now I'm ex you know glad that somebody sat down and explained this word for word to me so anyway this is my video um, I'm talking about being a light worker I'm talking about the last you know 10 years of struggle and I touched on a little bit of things that I was going through you know when I was growing up as a kid and everything um, and just how I ended up finding out that I am a light worker I went through a lot of heavy trauma basically since before I was born and I did spiritual research on spiritual things and I found it on the internet, you know, just by Googling it that, you know, the concept of light worker that we went through a lot of trauma and a lot of bad things, um, us personally and that it we have to, you know, walk through fire as a light worker to come to the earthly plane from heaven, you know, when we were souls and I signed in my soul contract that I would be here to give people advice and give people directions and help people. Um, and so I think that's part of my mission in life is being a light worker. So this is, you know, my video. Um, and I just want to kind of, you know, give you, you know, kind of let you know what I've been through. And so this video is about how I found, found out, um, through my own experiences and spiritual study, you know, tarot cards, astrology, things like that, um, that I'm really here put on earth to help humanity.